Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. So, steak! As you know, if you have followed this channel for some time, the steak, or beef, is not something our ancestors would have eaten a lot of in the spring. Primarily time for the slaughter of the cattle was in the fall, so we are a little out of season here, however, last week there was the Siegerblut. In the Norse tradition, that would have been a sacrifice and a feast on either uh, beef or horse meat, actually. Um, so there are certain occasions where our ancestors would have deemed it uh, acceptable to eat some red meat, eat some beef uh, at other times than the fall. So we're having some fresh meat here, uh, putting it on the grill, uh, but we're also making it with some other in-season ingredients, uh, the, uh, things that our ancestors would have had access to to at this time of year. We're making spinach with it, and it's a really nice uh, spinach uh, mix-up that I'm gonna show you right here. You take a big chunk of butter that goes in first, then goes the spinach, then we're gonna season it a little bit. Now, if it were the fall, I would be using fresh garlic and onion and things like that, but uh, these things are not in season now. We're in the springtime, so we're gonna have to use the preserved stuff, the dried stuff, just like our ancestors would have, so we are doing garlic. But what really makes this nice is the nutmeg, actually. So I'm putting quite a bit of nutmeg in here, then also some onion powder and a little chili flakes. That's not uh, exactly something my ancestors in the north of Europe had access to, but I need some spice in my life. That's just me. Put the steak on the barbecue, you all know how to do that, pretty simple. Salt and pepper it. Um, then uh, the spinach should be melting down into a good consistency there. Before it's done, we're gonna grate a little bit of cheese and put it in. I'm using Parmesan today, I think that tastes best, but you can use pretty much any cheese and I do quite a hefty amount of that. Stir it all up and then it's about uh, ready to eat. Uh, with it today, we are having some cheese, okay, so any dairy, if your ancestors had access to livestock, cattle, they could have had access to that all year round, so we're having a good chunk of cheese here with it. And we're eating the last of the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, or the cabbage, is in season uh, in the fall, uh, but when you preserve it, it can last all winter, so our ancestors would have used that all winter. and all the way up until the stores were running low in the spring, so I'm trying to get rid of the last sauerkraut for this meal here. But that's about it, all in-season ingredients, uh, with a little special occasion having some steak uh, with that, which we would really be only doing in the fall time. So let me know, do you guys have any similar recipes? Do you have any favorite springtime traditions uh, where you come from? Let us know down below.